Welcome. This should hopefully be a very easy, straightforward lesson. All we're going to do is we're going to graph translations of points or images, uh, figures, squares, rectangles, polygons of some sort. So we're going to graph the image of this point, 5, 2, which is point A, after a translation. All a translation means is to move it two units left, since it says left. So I just put a point there and hit submit, and booyah, we're good, right? So again, they give you the point on the graph. They say translation of one unit to the right, which is going to put it closer to the edge. That's one unit to the right, and we're good. And it's going to do a few with points, and then it's going to start giving you images. But the process is exactly the same. This is going to be translating this, or a translation of this rectangle nine units down. So just make sure you can go nine units down. I prefer to subtract than to count the squares. So I'm at seven. Seven minus nine is going to be negative two. So I'm going to be here at negative two. Just makes it easier to, I think, translate using mathematics rather than one, two, three, four, seven. But you can do that. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just here we're going to translate this triangle uh, translation of three units left and six units down. Three units left and six units down, right? Three units left and six units down, which would be at negative seven. And then again here, three units left and six units down. <clears throat> three, six units down and three units left. Make sure the images look the same and make sure it looks like you've translated where you're supposed to. Whoa, see, I did something. Oh, I did it right. <laughs> That's funny. Make sure you read and do what it actually says. Left. I know my left from my right, or apparently I don't. So I'm going to go back to kindergarten, and when I've learned my right and my left, I'll come back and help you do better on these assignments. Um, here, let's do this one. Five units left, five units up. So again, five units left, and I'm at I'm at seven, so I'm gonna go over to two. I'm at negative three, so if I go five units up, I'm gonna be at two, so there's that point. And again, this point's at six, so five units would be one. I'm at negative six, five units would be negative one. And that does not look right, wow. See, I have to count sometimes. Wow, count the squares. See, so don't feel bad. There's nothing wrong with that. Apparently, I need to start counting squares because I can't subtract 5 from 7, right? Then sometimes, actually, it might be easier to look at the figure itself. If I know that this point here is U, then I notice that this one's just down 3 and over 1. This one's down 3 and over 1. This one's over 2 and up 3. And... I have my figure. So sometimes I actually use the figure itself to help me do it. Let's see if I did this one right. Yes, I did this one right. This one, translation nine units to the right. So I'm just going to, again, I'm at negative six. Nine units to the right will put me at three. That base is three units in length. Now I just got to make sure I do this one correctly, right? It's at negative nine. This one's at negative six. So it's going to be negative three, and that's nine units to the right. Again, hopefully you know your right from your left, uh, unlike me, and you can do seven units right, five units down. If you have any questions on this assignment, please ask Mrs. Smith, as she knows her right from her left better than I do.